Ebizi crisis. Onye ma na mani chime. Other party leaders boycott Tenembo Rally in Enugu. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our GC news update, please click on the notification bell. However, leaders of the party in the state, including Foreign Affairs Minister Mr. Goffrey Onyema, former Senate President Senator Ken Namani, former Enugu State Governor Barista Sullivan Chime, former Speaker House Enugu State of Assembly Honorable Eugene Odu, former Secretary to the Enugu Government Chief Onyemuche Namani, among others, stayed away from the event. Also absent were the Director General of the Voice of Nigeria, Dr. Osito Kechuku, the immediate past chairman of a party in the state, Barista Ben Bonye, and a presidential aide, Barista Mrs. Juliet Ibe Kako. The leaders earlier in the day received Tunimbo at the Akanibiam International Airport in Ugo. However, while the presidential candidate headed to the market upper square value of the rally, the party leaders diverted to Chimes with Enugu's residents where they addressed journalists. They said their absence at the rally was to send a clear signal to the national leadership of the All Progressive Congress that something urgently must be done over the crisis in the Enugu State chapter of the party. Blames were heaped on Governor Hope Uzadima of Ima State for allegedly hijacking the All Progressive Congress structure in Enugu State, thereby disorganizing the party. The various speakers, including Chime, Namani, and Odu, said they were private to all preparation and pro programs for the rally. They, however, described Tenembu as a good candidate, assuring that they would work for his victory in the presidential election. According to Chime, we received our Guba candidate at the airport. We believe in him. He is the best. However, we are not at the upper school because of the internal issues we have in Enugu within the party. It has been there, and this is because sometime in October 2021, a non member was foisted on us after the Bush State Party progress as a so called chairman. The party leader went to Abuja, complained, but nobody took them seriously. The issues continued. So we have to distance ourselves from the local chapter of the party. After today, we expect that the party will do the right thing. On the party's candidate, Chima said, We will ensure that a guest more than the required 25%. Enugu must be counted. Today's event is just like a is just a rally. The major thing is election, and we're working hard to see to the victory of the party. Similarly, Senator Namani declared that Tunembo is the candidate of the party, and all loyal party members will support and work for his victory. He, however, disclosed that we are not aware of the preparations for this rally. That is why we did not go to and create a scene there. The rally was pretty much organized from outside Enugu. Meanwhile, at the rally attended by a large crowd, Tunibu assured that he will make Iboland an industrial hub. He came hard on the successive government over their failure to construct the second Niger Bridge, which he said will be commissioned soon, having been completed by the All Progressive Congress administration. The All Progressive Congress candidates called on the Ibos to collect their permanent voters card, PVC, saying it is their power. Also, at the rally, we are Governor Dave Omahi and Hope Uzadima of Eboin and Imostik, respectively. Now, they are saying they are having issues within the, what's it called, within the party and the state, and they, they don't want to go to the, they didn't go to for the rally to avoid, you know, gas boots happening. That I didn't say they go, gas boots will happen, so you better say them stay clear. They were not happy about, you know, and here they told us, and in detail, while they, they were not happy, they said sometime in October, you know, October of last year, was it October 2021? I think it was October 2020. Yes, 2021. That is a year now. That Wow. That's almost um, two years. Almost two years, a year plus. Eh? October 2021, what happened was that a member of, um, what was it called? A non-member was brought in as a chairman. And so they were not happy about it. They even said they went to ABG to complain about it. But then we standing. Then we standing. Nigerians, I agree with what Tenembo said. Your PVC is your power. Your PVC is what you use to vent. If you want to vent, it is your PVC. Anything you want to do, it is your PVC. So far, it concerns election. Your PVC is what you're going to be used to be heard. 
if you want to be heard. If you like, stand. We can stand in groups now. You know how it normally it is. Huh? You know my, you know how these things are. Imagine when you go to the market and you are very annoyed. Omo, I went and I asked for the price of a paint of crayfish. And they said the paint of crayfish was 6000 I was like, eh? You know? I was, I, I was like, I'm sorry. I was not even worried. I was like, excuse me. I turned back. I know before, you know, the discussion came. And people were lamenting this woman, you know. And people lamenting we are all Nigerians. They were not from one particular region. They had, you know, an Hausa. They had a Yoruba. They had an Igbo. They had an Urubu. They had everybody in that gathering. You know, they were lamenting how things are becoming so difficult. How it is difficult to keep up. Children's school fees, you know, this is January. Children's school fees on day the year, they say they pile up. And, you know, what I just said was that you have your PVC. So, I'm saying, how are they sure? And I'm saying, do the right thing first. If your son is sick and they tell you, and you go to the hospital, they tell you, give him this one. Will you tell the doctor that uh, this one? You know, why? you might tell the doctor, oh, look at the medications he has been given before. You understand? And the doctor knows, okay, still give him this one. You will obey. First of all, you do what? You vote for that person, you, you think. Vote for the right person. So, Nigerians, why I'm saying this is that the way we come out to, you know, discuss our problems every time, we should use that same energy to come out and, you know, discuss the solution to our problems as well. That is all I'm saying. Are there APC members? All of these people showing unnecessary hatred for Tunbu, all of you who have attacked after the election, mark my word. If I say you know read the article, brother. <laughs> hey, hey. Iblai say you know read the article. They are all APC members for crying out loud. They are all APC members now. <laughs> okay. Um the people are lost sick prophet of doom who just want Stonebo's money and a bag of beans and rice. Ah. You mean our politicians, Abi? Our politicians want a bag of rice. I doubt it's a bag of rice. A bag of rice cannot make them be campaigning for Tunubu vigorously. Uh -uh. Those people now, a bag of rice is not even their problem. They are just safeguarding their interest. All right. Broken hope, broken dreams, broken squad. Okay. Igbos in Enugu and Ever will surely collect their PVC, but certainly not for Tunubu and its all progressive Congress. We are collecting our PVC for P2B. Those promising Tunubu 25% vote in Enugu are not telling him the truth. All right, and this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>